Liverpool enjoys goal-scoring machine in the league as contract talks planned. Liverpool has received a significant boost ahead of the Manchester United showdown with a key player ready to return. Hello, Reds fans. Let's check out the latest news from the greatest club in the world. Ruben Amorim has brought hope to Liverpool fans by revealing that he may leave sporting this summer, thus fueling the possibility of becoming Jurgen Klopp's successor. The 39-year-old coach, who led Sporting to their first Primera Liga title in 19 years in 2021, is being coveted by Liverpool, Barcelona, and previously by Tottenham. Currently, Sporting leads the Portuguese league, with a one-point advantage and one game in hand over second-place Benfica. However, ahead of the big Lisbon Derby this weekend between Portugal's top two teams, Amarim admitted that his future may not be at Sporting, emphasizing the need to win titles. He had previously suggested that this could be his last season in Portugal, and recently responded with a we'll see when asked if the National Cup final would be his last game in charge of Sporting. As Klopp's reign at Anfield draws to a close, Liverpool has intensified its search for the club's first new manager in nine years, with Amorim emerging as one of the leading candidates. The Reds have a close relationship with Amorim's agent, who also represents Colombian forward Luis Diaz. Amorim is believed to have a release clause of $12.8 million, which could be reduced to $8.5 million in the summer 2025 transfer window. He guided Sporting to a domestic double in his second season in charge, being named Primera Liga Manager of the Year in 2021 and winning Manager of the Month award on three occasions this season. Liverpool is facing the prospect of having to act swiftly to secure the transfer of Crescencio Somerville this summer. There are a number of competing clubs, including Chelsea, Atletico Madrid and Bayer Leverkusen, with whom the Reds will have to contend, according to reports from Hick. However, there is also the chance that the 22-year-old may agree to an extension with his current club, Leeds United. Reports suggest that Leeds is planning to initiate new negotiations for a possible new contract, should the club secure promotion. As for the possibility of Liverpool signing Crescencio Somerville, it's not surprising that the Dutchman has piqued the Reds' interest, given his quality performances in the championship. The former Feyenoord youth player has scored 27 goals in 40 games across all competitions in the last two seasons. His ability to play on either side of the attack could address selection issues for Liverpool, especially if Luis Diaz or Mo Salah consider leaving in the summer. While there are fewer concerns about Diaz, given his father's recent comments about potential Spanish interest, the signing of Somerville remains an attractive option for fans. So, dear supporter, are you in favor of Liverpool signing Crescencio Somerville? Liverpool midfielder Wataru Endo was unable to participate in the Reds' match against Sheffield United at Anfield during the week. However, his presence is eagerly anticipated in the starting lineup for the clash against Manchester United next Sunday. Endo, the Japanese international player, has been a surprising revelation for the Merseyside club this season since his arrival last summer. Although his signing from the Bundesliga did not generate much excitement among Liverpool fans, the 31-year-old player has played a crucial role in the thrilling Premier League title race. During the previous summer, with Jurgen Klopp and his recruitment team facing the need to replace key players like Jordan Henderson and Fabinho, Endo's arrival for a relatively modest fee was not the most talked-about deal. However, his contribution has been undeniable, helping strengthen the team's midfield and boost their aspirations in the English league. In Klopp's latest update on Endo, he expressed his expectation that the player would be in good shape for the Manchester United clash, having been rested from the previous game. The German coach chose to give him a break, aiming to maximize his chances of being available for the crucial weekend match. James Pierce, a reporter for The Athletic, also provided an update, suggesting that Endo is likely to start in midfield, sacrificing Ryan Gravenberch's presence. The decision to reintegrate Endo into the starting lineup aims to bolster Liverpool's midfield defence, especially after the recent defeat to Manchester United in the FA Cup. Klopp and his team will be determined to avoid a repeat of that setback, seeking to ensure that the team is in its best physical and tactical shape for the clash at Old Trafford. Thus, 
Endo's return will not only be a valuable option for the coach, but also a crucial boost for the team's ambitions in this crucial phase of the season. Thank you very much to those of you who have stayed until the end. Until next time.